Greetings, my fellow Thebians, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld False God, episode 72, for the last time. All right, so Aviator, you are popping out in seven hours. And that there was the giveaway. So cat number one is Utigal. Utical 9. Cat number 2, Tarmarin. I thought I saw you start to lurk, Tar. I guess that's not true. Tar, did you have someone named after you? Maybe at some point, but I think that is long since past. Cool. I spent so much time traveling out to try to find cats, and here they are coming to me. Never needed to go anywhere. Oh, you were once a dog. Yeah, that's right. You are right here, right? No, that's Tech Wolf. I guess we ate you. Oh, did we eat you? Now I feel bad. I think we ate you. Uh, I feel bad about that. Oh, so annoying. I kind of wish that I could lower skills. So Seabass was happy enough to get an inspiration. Instead of getting a creative inspiration, he got an animal tame inspiration. If his animal skill was two, he couldn't even be inspired for animals. Oh, she for the love of... Really? Oh, this is going to be so damaging. Oh, uh, why? Shaking my fist at the sky. This is so annoying. Sploot, sploot, sploot. Come on, get a line of sight. There's one. There's two. Oh, did you just catch fire? Darn it, brain scar. I didn't want to brain scar you. Are you berserked? No, you're not berserked. There's another. Oh, you're already mentally broken. Uh, then there's you. All right, you're out. Well, you're back. Let's have Goro try to go for a mega giant berserk pulse. And run. Run, run faster. Maxu and Mike get in the way because they seem to be coming to us. But at least we have um, pretty decent psy casting to be able to shut down uh, buggy problem. Uh, Valor, really? Seriously? Refill it. Uh, no, 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 no. Thank you. You get out of there. Okay, I heard the cast go off. Max, you get out. And you got a super bad bite to the neck, so you bounce out of there. Kinda new takeover. Whirl, are you in the doorway? What is going on there? No, I don't think he's choking up, good. Uh, as you can see, if it does fail, I did design these to be a bottleneck here. This was intentional, so that they bottleneck to one cell when they come in. Oh! 
Oh, I have three points already? Oh no, four is required. Right, right. That's why we're doing the last server. Actually, Maxu, how quick are you bleeding? Not super quick. I'm gonna have you stick around for berserks. Because if I can berserk ones that are in the tunnel... Wait, how are they getting through? Where is Guero standing that they're just filtering through? This is weird. I don't really understand why they're able to enter... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really get it. Sabin, Amun-Ra, Aviator, Valor. Okay. I don't really have any doctors around. Guerrero's heart cut is pretty bad. Yeah. Actually, only... Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty light. It's not that deep. A gift of a wooden warhammer. Cut to the heart and the bucks to blame. <laughs> he keeps choking up. I'm not sure why he's doing that. What's Sabin? Ten Maxu. Maxu's hurt, so Maxu's Berserk recharge is actually faster as a result. And Aviator needs rescue. Uh, Amon Ra will do it. Right place, right time. Okay, I just pulsed everyone else. So I'm actually going to step away from this. Oh, ouch. That hurts. We're almost debugged, and I'm going to let everyone else go. Seabass, you back out of there. Thomas, you take a step forward. Seabass goes to the hospital. Max, are you healed? No. Mac, uh... Oh, Max, is healed. All right, Sabin, you go to the hospital. Kynan, Firefly, Thomas. Uh, there is still some bugs left, so hold the door. Squeakums is back up. Actually, Mike, you take a step forward because you have that giant mace. Cool. Tend and tend. All right, I think this is the last remaining bug standing. Let's check. Nope, there's two left. So there's one down here that's injured and bleeding pretty fatally. Good. So the last one's down. Or second to last one. We'll start bashing them to death. Kynan, you can take off. Oh, one's still alive in there. Uh, as far as assignments go... Lifting? Aviator needs rescue, that's fine. She can be there. Uh, Amon Ra, let's fill the Bioscout pod again so we can go through the regen cycle. And then we have a lot to clean up in here before we turn this over to, uh, to Amon Ra to build. So 
So patched, patched, patched. Good. This was annoying, but like, it wasn't horrible. It could have been worse. I believe that's everything. There is no enemies left. I got... I feel like I got pretty good at handling bugs. I mean, the, the having combat psychass makes most of the difference. I'm not going to lie about that. But I feel like I shut that down pretty quickly. Bugs use kibble for carnivores? Yeah, yeah, we already have that set up, is we automatically butcher bugs. Uh, so you guys voted on Persona Corn and Uranium, so let me accept this. The site has appeared. There it is. And my Persona Corn and Uranium has dropped. The Persona Core happens to be the correct side where we want it, so we're good on that front. Good, good, good. Uh, I think I'm going to high priority haul everyone very briefly so that we can haul bugs and jelly so it doesn't decay. Yeah, because I need more uranium, exactly, I know. The Persona Core allows us to make a tier 4 uh, droid that's pretty much why we went with that. You can see how fast I'm building skills now with these six top tier servers. I mean, they're so expensive, these buildings. Look at, they're worth 3.3 grand each. Okay, so Aviator 10's pod is ready. So Aviator, you're gonna be unrestricted very, very briefly. And I'm gonna anesthetize you here. Almond Rao is going to get up. Drop your herbal meds. Whoops. Do the operation. And then haul them to a bioregeneration cycle for them to regenerate. Done. I definitely want, uh... Not light, lamp. Lamps to be stored, you know, not in the general storage where it gets everyone killed. And then Aviator, when you're out, you're back to Forbidden. So there we go. 17-day uh, cycle. Getting healed. And here, we're already kibbling up the bug meat. As I said, it's... it's The butchery is already set up automatically for it. So I don't really have to worry about that. Once everyone's up, 
I'm going to kick off a Koyak festival. I'm going to have to make sure that the robots do not attend. And for points, yep, we are good. So if we take a look here at skills, I can start doing passions as well. So if we take a look at JFed, I've just given him a passion for mining. So I'm going to give all the robots a passion for their specialties once I have the points built up. Uh, what am I researching next? I'm going to keep going through advanced nano kits and then pivot if you guys choose something else. So the climate adjuster is making it hotter. I think. So I'll probably want to clear that up eventually. The, um... My freezers are keeping up with the temperature, though. So there is no real risk of um, infestations where I have freezers. I don't have tier 4 Android research yet, no. That's something that is still yet to be done. Who's starving, Quero? Just eat. That's not that complicated. <laughs> uh, taking a quick check to make sure that nobody ended up with uh, wounds from that fight. I don't think we... Yeah, I don't believe that we have any wounds from the fight. Permanent ones, that is. I am going to need to reduce the high priority uh, hauling for my cooks, though. Although Dem Tacos never hauls, so I guess that's fine. Just because sometimes when you do high priority hauling for too long, um, nobody ends up... Uh, Oh, really? Wow, Valor, you almost died. Like, you almost... You really got beat up. And another Balkoods trader. What are the chances that there's more cats? I suppose I'm about to see. Nope, no more cats. We have two... A uh, female cat, Tarmarin, so I suspect we're going to have cat babies eventually. And I think in this trade, I'm going to actually buy Plasteel. Why not? Cool. Alright, pulls up. More Android stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to go tier 4 Android. I think that's probably what you guys want. We are definitely kibbling up and hauling the bugs. There's just nowhere to put bugs at the moment. Really? Another social fight? Dear Lord. I'm going to have to have a, a talking to. So Sabin and Seabass fought. Sabin, probably because she's disfigured, I'd imagine. No, she's not even disfigured. I don't even know. I don't even know. Move the Persona Core? Uh, sure. Oh, no, I didn't mean to hit clear all. God damn it. All right, chem fuel's allowed there, and lamps are allowed there, and meds. Components. 
and shield belt. One little misclick and ugh. Sabin insulted sea bass. Yeah, I know. I just noticed. I was making sure that it wasn't driven off of like a, some other reason. But I'll patch them up. So we're just waiting on uh, some cleanup and hauling here. I'm going to reduce the high priority hauling because I think we're basically done with that. Whoa! The animals hold all of the wood out of the wood zone. There isn't any wood left. That's incredible. I can't get over Valor's uh, certainty about his ideology. It is absurd to me that he's just so certain that even surrounded by all of us, he's like, no, I'm good, thanks, though. It's actually kind of impressive, if anything. I mean, I'm slightly annoyed, but, like, more impressed than annoyed. So I'm moving the septic so I can double wall here. It's been... Something that, uh, that has been proposed multiple times, but we just never got around to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Amunara has a beam targeter on his hip. <laughs> okay, that's a little overkill. Let's go with a insanity lance. I'm going to reopen for guests now. And this isn't going to be for guests anymore. I don't really want guests staying in there unless they have to has forced overflow. of a way to make it harder for someone to have a tantrum and going in here. I think the best I can do is just wall it up and if there are component problems, I'll just solve it. I'd rather have it be annoying for me than fatal. If, uh, if that makes sense. There we go. We're finally cleaning it up. Looks like Macho needs to lay down some new light. We still do want to get all the bugs out, whether they rot or not. They're probably going to rot just because there's nowhere to put them at the moment. But um, we don't want bugs in here forever just rotting for the till the end of time. So I'm going to set them up to be uh, hauled out before we close everything up. So this butcher creature is, I think, no, it's this butcher creature that is insects. So butcher, I'm going to rename this insects. Butcher for meat. And then this one is butchering thrombo no matter what. So I'll rename this one as well. So we always make kibble when there's insect meat, and we always butcher insects, and we always butcher thrombo, and then we butcher 
so that we have a baseline of 500 meat. Oopsie poopsie. I should have drained it first, oh well. Remove sewage. Guess what, robots? You get to clean some sewage. <laughs> They're like, yay. <laughs> All right, and then I'll put sewage in here too. Uh, what is it called? Biosolids? Fecal sludge. Uh, that's what it is. Good thing they're simple-minded. Exactly. They don't mind. They don't... We didn't build them with noses. They don't know... They don't know that it smells bad. Nobody told them that it was grunt work. They are none the wiser, happily none the wiser. Clean up my fecal sludge. In fact, I do have the points to give passions. I'll have to remember to do that. A manhunter pack of timber wolves. How many? Um. Yeah, this is a let's stay inside level pack here. We could probably deadfall trap them, but. It's just a lot of wolves. Easier just to turtle. So forbidden inside, I'm going to temporarily allow them to clean up the bugs here so that I can keep working on this days. It's not a short period of time, but it's, it's reasonable. And this is so that uh, the utility closet is fully double walled for security so that one little tantrum can't reveal the utility closet. The rest of these insects, so there were some insects that did end up spoiling, and we'll just haul them out, and then that means Amun Ra is pretty soon going to be able to um, freeze this. So, I'm going to open up the viewer submitted ideas so that you all can suggest next goal. I'll give you some ideas, not that I'm, not that you have to suggest it, but there is pursuing... There is pursuing the Bastet Spear, which is the last of our relics to collect, the third relic. Um, there's pyramids, there's sphinxes, there's uh, upgrading the droids to tier three or four, uh, potentially resurrecting Shellbell, uh, freezing the tunnels here, because these tunnels are still uh, infestation risks. That's just some ideas off the top of my head. But feel free to submit whatever you want.
Look at the kibble. I'm gonna have to high priority haul this kibble out. Because there's nowhere for it. I don't want it rotting in the uh in the rain. Darn it, how? I said it's every two days, bruz. Do I have to set it to three? Quit abusing drugs, dude. What are you, a child? No, you're 28. How did you even get addicted? I'm fairly certain that Ambrosia's safe every two days. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the use of Ambrosia down to 70%. So we don't rely on this heavily. Beer to 65 and... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Ugh. <sighs> All right, so there's a lot of ideas already submitted, so let's vote on next goal. Modern day rec room for the lab. Cat temple. Quarry for robots. Uh, pursue the relic. Upgrade... Uh, Code Monkey, I'm not sure what yours means. Upgrade androids to T3, T4. Resurrect Shell Bell. For, uh, build a pyramid. Build more geothermal generators. Yeah, try to make uh, try to make your suggestions very clear so I understand them. Because if I don't understand them, um, I can't write them down. Or I can, but it doesn't mean that anyone else will get what's going on. Uh, this is ready. Oh, no, this is not quite ready for Amonra. Almost. So I'll have Macho put the last in... Plex is almost converting. Safe dose interval for Ambrosia should be 1.6 days. I know, right? So I had bros set to every two days, and bros still got addicted. What can I do? And the only thought I had is, oh, maybe bros is not uh, 21, because when you're smaller, when you're young, you, you are more susceptible to addiction in RimWorld, but nope, that wasn't the case either. It just, whatever. All right, so now this tunnel is all set for Amun-Ra to build. So I'm gonna remove Inside of here from the Forbidden Zone as well. So that when the dogs are gone, um, nobody goes in here. Except for Amon Rao, of course. He's allowed in. But I'll eventually wall it up just like the other side. And then Amonra inside is going to be... Oops, that's incorrect. Let's try that again. Amonra inside. Should be allowed in here. Fresh pinholes. Uh, these pinholes are pretty fresh, but I'll drop new one. I'll drop one new one, just in case. All right, off we go. Tarmarin, are you pregnant yet? Not conclusive. Is 
Yeah, Rose has fine kidneys too, so it's not a issue of blood filtration. There's no good reason why Bros should have been addicted, but whatever. Just is the way it is. A mad giraffe. Well, good luck getting in. I'm already turtled. <laughs> I don't really need to do anything. All right, what I'm going to try to do is to lay down all the steel and um, wood for all of the construction so that I can just grab a giant handful of components and everything else will be good to go. I also want to lay down the cables, so that will look like that. It's almost exactly the correct amount of steel. There's a little bit more steel needed, but that was pretty good. Ultimately, uh, you guys were right, or GMT, you were right. I did need a new pinhole because these pinholes are already fading. And I'm going to let Amon Ra go to sleep because he's tired. All right, looks like we're resurrecting Shell Bell. Uh, question, should we put Shell Bell in the T4 body? Yes or no? I can only make one tier four android. There is no possibility of me making two. I only have one Persona core. So, should Shabelle get it, or should it be going to someone else? So for those that don't know, uh, tier three androids are roughly on par with a human. Tier four androids are superior to humans pretty significantly. Just as a point of reference, if you needed it. I don't know if you did. Can Elizabeth operate on uh, Amon Ra at tier three? Yeah, definitely. Tier three androids are very, very strong. They're like a little above organic humans. Tier fours are just like a, a giant leap above humans, organic humans. Shabelle is the new god? Nah. It's kind of like Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein's monster was str stronger than Dr. Frankenstein. Doesn't mean that they were superior, just stronger. It depends on how you measure. Oh, dang. Cheetah had none of you. Cheetah just decided to make one of the uh, Manhunter Wolves lunch. Shell Bell will be like Data. Yeah, that's a pretty good comparison. I like that. Kind of like Data. I'll put the timer on that. So have all of the steel and... Yeah, we have all the steel laid out now. So we're just waiting on components, I think. All right, let's go grab some components.
Timberwolves was starting to leave. There was, what, 33 at the start? Now there's only 18. Dang, you fast. Very fast. And you guys say yes. So that will be the next goal. Uh, it also means that I probably need an Android upgrade station. And an upgrade cabinet. Robots are totally not going to rebel. That's a myth. They won't rebel. They're going to be good little robots for me. Dang, JFed made a masterwork upgrade station. That will work. All right, and is this power network is... No, it's not connected yet. There it is. Amon Ra's about to starve, so I'm going to go let him eat. There's still more components that need to be hauled over. Did you even eat? Yeah, okay, he did eat. Good. All right, and that's the new goal. Make Shell Bell a T4 body. That means we do need to research tier four androids. So I might actually take a second goal because this is not a goal that the community can work on. So I'm going to open up the viewer submitted ideas for another goal that doesn't have anything to do with androids because only really four members of this 21 member community can work on Android goals. So I need a communal goal. I know I need a goal that everyone else can, can participate in. Um, so that, that could be something like, uh, like moving the anima tree or setting up a better dining room or expanding the kitchen or going on a trade run or working on a pyramid or a sphinx or moving the farm, something like that, or setting up more gal trees or setting up an outpost, just spitballing. Um, but yeah. Let me know. Uh, I will assure the safety of my guests despite the wolves because the wolves are not paying attention at the moment. Get in there, Brinbra. All right, and let me entertain them and then turn off new guests. I'm typing up your ideas now. So here is those that did submit ideas already, and I'll just pull on those. So this is a secondary goal to pair with uh, Tier 4 Android for Shell Bell. There's only five Timberwolves left. Good. 
Hey, Elizabeth or JFed, if either of you want to be a specific color, feel free to let me know. Single Timberwolf, that is the only one that's still psychotic. I like the noise the watermill generators make. It's so unnatural. Totally not what a watermill generator would make. And then these... Deep Freeze. I think we're good. That is awesome. Uh, so I do want to completely enclose the freezers. So I'm going to be queuing up to do that. And then I'll just have to periodically remember to check for component damage. I just stole the cheetah's food. <laughs> Yoink! So it's actually... Well, it's getting there. It's getting up to temperature. It's not quite temperature yet. But it's negative 19... In this area. Okay, yeah, it's getting colder. So now, uh, insects cannot spawn in the rivers. Sweet. Who are you? I have no idea who that is. <laughs> when when did when did someone die a day and a half ago? Oh, were they the visitor? No, they weren't the visitors. I don't even know. I am so confused. So completely and utterly confused as to who that is. Okay, yep, it is the proper negative temperature now. Nobody is going to accidentally go into the, um, or no bugs are going to spawn in here. So if I take a look again in dev mode and turn on insect uh, infestation chance, as you can see, both rivers are not valid spots. The entry tunnels are, uh, and that is it. Just those two entry tunnels. But uh, you guys didn't propose for me to bug proof that, so. That remains TBD for now. Will the river actually physically freeze? No, no. Uh, water never freezes in RimWorld like that. Ice is always ice, and water is always rot water. There's no phase changing that exists. Just the way RimWorld is. Doesn't have functional phase changes. The only phase change that exists is uh, rain becoming snow or snow becoming rain. And even then, sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes snow stays snow, no matter what, and rain stays rain. Oh, sappers. Man, you know, every single person that ever fights me, ever, all of my raids are breachers or sappers. They just, they just are. So we have one from the north and one from the east. And it looks like I'm also going to be building a cat temple. Well, to me, a cat temple has to include a sphinx. It just has to. So not only are we building a cat temple, we're building a sphinx. 
I'm gonna vote, have you all vote on the location of said cat temple soon. Yeah, where are the wolves when I need them? No kidding. No kidding. At least sappers take a little bit longer getting into the uh, into our base than the breachers do. Splat. Oh, they are throwing what? Oh, shards. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind some shards. Dang, they hit Mike. They almost cut Mike's arm off throwing shards at him. I'll take... This is ridiculous for a hundred. Thanks. Ow, even Amonorella just took one to the leg. Alright, let's start going on the offensive here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Falls God, which originally streamed live on Twitch August 7th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timer to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, to its subscribers and viewers like you to support the channel. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Ammonites.